The 2024 hurricane season was expected to be busy, an above average year, and it seemed to start that way with Hurricane Beryl, a deadly and destructive Cat 5 hurricane that impacted the Caribbean, the Yucatan Peninsula, and the Gulf Coast. Since then, though, the Atlantic Basin has turned rather quiet. Now, the main reason why forecasters believe that this has been happening is because normally we have easterly waves, or hurricane seedlings, if you will, that develop off the west coast of Africa and move over this area called the Main Development Region. And then they turn into tropical systems and maybe even a hurricane. This year, things have been going a little bit different. In fact, the opposite direction. The waves are developing further north, bringing heavy rainfall over the Sahara Desert. This is very rare. These waves or disturbances will bring anomalous rainfall over the very arid area. Northern African countries such as Chad, Algeria, Mali and Libya could see nearly one month's worth of rain in just the next 10 days. It's always important to remember that the peak of the hurricane season is still yet to arrive. September 10th is historically when we see the most storms develop and so it's still yet to come. While the National Hurricane Center did call for an above average year back in May, with up to 25 named storms. There's a long way to go to get to that, but it's also important to remember that long range forecasting for anything, be it snow, tropical systems, temperatures, is not an easy job. And the NHC did call for a 5% risk of below average. So that's a possibility too, just a low probability one. The pattern will likely pick up in the next week or so, and it's important to remember that it only takes one storm to make landfall and have a major impact to residents along the coast. Stay tuned to the Weather Network for the latest on the 2024 hurricane season.